uh and the today, today's agenda is is for uh like a business analyst specifically for the rpa okay uh, but if you have any questions related to the rpa development or or related to the rpa testing right because in rpa we are having a lot of roles are available right but at the end we should know the rpa like what is r right so hope uh, everyone who joined here they knows about the rpa so rpa means robotic process automation right it can be used or it it's been used in in across all the industry not specific to any particular industry it might be any industry like banking finance healthcare automobile electrical electronics petroleum oil and gas paper industry healthcare hospitality management right across all the industry right and this is related to the software robots not a hardware robots because we have already seen about the hardware robots which are working into the uh, automobile industry or the mechanical industry right so rpa being used across all the industry uh, for the automation purpose right so whatever we are doing our day to day task right for example we are working on any software we are sending daily emails or we are maintaining any excel we are extracting the data from the uh any pdf document we are putting into the sap erp salesforce database api right so all such kind of applications uh very well we can automate with the help of rp right and <clears throat> nowadays if you see there is a very high demand uh, for the business analyst okay uh, within the rp and it is called as a technical business analyst it means the business analyst should have the knowledge uh related to the uh like business analysis along with the rpa knowledge okay so it it's called as a technical business analyst right so that is the reason uh like uh we have come up with this seminar so that we can educate uh to the people right to this new horizon within the rpa okay and it is very high demanding into the market nowadays right so let's start and request everyone uh please make the session interactive ask as many as questions okay so it will be help you as well as others as well and make it a two way communication okay uh yes uh abhay uh, i have a sorry to interrupt uh, yeah. can you so in the beginning can you please uh, put some light on like uh, what are the different roles of rpa so that uh, like rpa developer okay. rpa okay so that we, yeah so yeah so, so in rpa we have variety of roles are available like rpa developer rpa business analyst rpa testing uh, then we have rpa manager rpa support rpa bot monitoring right so we have variety of roles are available uh, into into the rpa okay along with that rpa pre sales right so all these roles are available into the rpa okay sounds good okay yeah yeah thanks okay fine so now we will move to the next slide right so in rpa right in other industry the ba role is very limited right but that is not the case with the uh, rpa right so in rpa we have to uh, like go through the the different kinds of journey okay so we have to play different different role right so here if you can see this is the Uh, like rpa life cycle okay this is the rpa life cycle and ba is the only one person who has to play the role in throughout the journey of rpa life cycle right so that is the reason i was saying we should have the knowledge of rpa it is not necessary you should have a like hands on knowledge on the rpa development but you should know the capability of rpa what is the rpa what are the capabilities of rpa which tools are available into the market right which are the efficient tool which tool we can use at what place right so we should have all this a basic understanding okay of the tool so that you can go and you can talk to the client okay accordingly otherwise if you are totally blank right uh, about the rpa it it is very very difficult uh to to perform this role that is the reason nowadays the industry is looking for a technical rpa business analyst so the person have the uh, like more rpa knowledge right along with the business analyst knowledge, okay so here if you can see there are six stages of the rpa like prepare rpa 
solution design build the rpa test rpa stabilize rpa and constant improvement right prepare a rpa means we have to gather the requirements okay we have to create a backlog like what are the cases uh, which is uh, like uh, available for the clients like they can think it's a potential uh, use cases for the automation right and after that we have to find out the opportunity assessment okay so which process can be uh, automated which give the more high roi right roi means it will it will give a, a dollar saving uh, full time employee saving right along with the time saving and accuracy right so the ba here if you see like uh, you can see whatever is the uh, color in the like orange right so and below that you can see the business analyst right so this role business analyst has to provide uh, during the initiation phase or we can say the prepare the rpa okay so we are just creating the pipeline uh, of the processes that can be automated okay then the second phase is here pdd creation and sign off okay so business analyst has to create some kind of documents okay uh, like they have to gather the requirements so they will create a business requirement document they will create a process design document right and along with that they will be responsible for the testing in the uat region okay so along with that they are creating the use cases as well from the business point of view okay from the business point of view not from the functionality point of view because for functional the separate uh, testing team will be there okay and in case if someone is not speaking uh, please view on mute okay thank you and next is stages build rp right so in the build rpa what they are doing they are validating the changes they are evaluating the impact right in case if if they are right so they are taking those feedbacks from the development team during the development activity right and next phase is once the development is done and and, and the product is ready for moving into the production right before that uh, we like a business analyst will will do the testing from the business point of view okay so here uh like they will execute the test cases or it will record the result right and they will prepare the sign off and and after that the business users will will go into test into the uh uat region so that the team will get more confidence about the production move right and once it is done the next will be stabilize rpa right so there will be how go live preparation right uh, go live preparation means it is going into the production so what are the things we have to take care how to handle the credentials for example how to handle the work environment right so these things will be taken care by ba okay along with that once it's went to the production right still the ba role will be there right so it's not the case once it's moved to the production right the ba role will be over no that is not a case right so after the moving into the production the ba will measure the expected versus the actual result right so whatever the roi initially we have calculated during the process assessment right this dollar saving fte saving time saving right so they will calculate it right it is really giving the uh, fruitful outcome or not right at the same time like ba will document the lessons learned so whatever what went wrong and what went well right how to improve it in case if something went wrong right so it will document it and at the same time the next stage is a constant improvement okay so constant improvement means if there are any changes enhancements are there right those will be taken care by the business analyst so if you can see by from this uh, flow chart right you will get a complete understanding of rpa business analyst and and its role okay so any question on this slide from anyone no okay fine so now we will move forward right so what are the roles of rpa business analyst right so as we uh, like as we have seen into into our slide right so business analyst have to identify the process automation opportunities right so that is the reason why why doing the process assessment right the ba should have the knowledge of the rpa then only the person will be able to do right identification of the 
uh, automation of parts right next one is a document business process so what are the rpa processes is there the business analyst has to document it by mentioning all the required details like what are the current pain points what are the inefficiencies are there right how to define the desired future state of the process automation right like we have seen into the previous slide then next one is a design rpa solution so design rpa solutions means here they are creating the pdd right by taking the reference of that pdd uh, the solution architect or development team they will create their solution design uh, document right so where also uh, the ba is providing the inputs uh, like what are the business exception what are the system exceptions right how to improve the process so ba will also give his input during this design phase and next one is a perform uaty acceptance testing so as, as, as we discussed already in last slide like the ba will be involved to do the testing as well into the uh, uat environment and then it's a provide post production implementation like constant improvement calculate the uh, measure right what is the expected what is the actual right so this is the mainly the broader roles of the rpa business analyst okay uh, sorry to interrupt you uh, i have a question yes please uh, so uh, there is a uh, like pdd okay uh, so uh, pdd or uh, brd same uh, uh, both are the like different yes both are the different uh, prith okay okay both are the different so okay. both uh, so brd and pdd both both document uh, uh, have to complete by the rpa bo only or someone else no no see it's rpa bo only okay okay so that is the reason here we have the more scope for the ba in rp rather than our normal b so both uh, i mean both document is mandatory to, uh, to like i have to create both document or only one or uh, depend on the organization to organization like uh, there is only ptd or only brd like that uh, so you are absolutely right pradyuman okay so it is totally depend on the organization to organization okay means uh, if any uh, suppose any organization is there so uh, not uh, like mandated that if if they are uh, like uh, uh, saying that you need to prepare pdd so at that time we do not have to you know uh, like uh, prepare the brd so specifically i want to tell pradyuman pdd is a must have document okay, okay. so okay. that we have to prepare anyhow there is there is no alternative for it right okay. but uh, the brd document is optional okay okay, okay. Okay, so I think it will it will give the clear idea. Yeah, <laughs> no. yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Pratim. And the next thing is, uh, we are, we are talking about the business analyst skills, right? What are the skills are required for the business analyst, right? So business analyst should have the curiosity, right? So the business analyst should have an eagle eye. So whatever the things are happening currently, and that we have to automate now, right? so business analyst should go and find out each and every corner of the process right and it can document it so that is the reason the business analyst should require the curiosity to understand about the product and how it is working currently and what are the different kinds of uh, <clears throat> applications are involved right next one is a communication skill right so business analyst should have a very good communication skill because the business analyst has to interact with the customers clients and vendors right in addition to that it having a very good uh, skills like listening skill observing skill along with the communication skill right and the next one is business and industry knowledge right so this is not mandatory okay but it's good to have like <clears throat> suppose there, there there is a requirement in healthcare industry or in a finance industry banking industry right so if you have the knowledge okay prior knowledge of, of that that particular domain right it would be added advantage but not uh, like mandatory next one is a vision right so business and this vision and the analytical skill okay so here we required a rpa expertise right in in terms of rpa business analyst so why because i will give example okay so you are doing any process identification right where you have to extract the data from the pdf document right so it might happen after two months or three months whatever the data we are getting in a pdf right uh, in a text format like after two months it will it will get in a in a image format right so again we have to ask such type of questions to the business from the rpa point of view so that 
it will be helpful to understand right what is their vision maybe in the next year or two or three years down the line right so that the automations we are going to build that will be the fruitful to 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 that organization basically right so that is the reason here we required a rpa capabilities or rpa skills to to work in in this phase okay and next one is a patience right so <clears throat> it might happen uh, like uh, while gathering the requirements and while developing delivering right we can face lot of challenges okay because everything it will not be a straight forward process right so we should have a patience right uh, we should have each uh, we should handle each and everything uh, uh, very very uh, like uh, what, what i can say properly right so that <clears throat> it will be get delivered uh, delivered on time okay with the accuracy right so it should have the patience right so it should not be the case like uh, we have some impatience and uh, like if, if something goes wrong right we can uh, we can say no no this is not a right candidate for rpa and we can scrap the process right so it should not be the case so these are the i can say pillars right of of the business analyst which which require okay then we'll we'll move to the next slide Okay, but moving to the next slide. Uh, any questions so far from anyone? I know uh, people ask uh, the questions or uh, time to time. But any any questions from anyone till now? Good to go. Okay, no worries, right? But please ask the questions as I already said. So next one is determine the RPA suitability, right? So it is not the case like every time. Like we will automate hundred percent, right? Sometimes it is happen. uh like it it might be the hybrid like combination of manual and combination of automation right or sometimes it can be 100% automated sometime it it not not possible through the automation right so here we have to find out that suitability also right so suppose there, there is a process right where we required a frequent human intervention the process is changing maybe quarterly or or maybe monthly right so this is not a right candidate for the automation so that kind of process we have to go with the manual there is a no choice right but there are some uh, semi annual or the hybrid automation is there where few of the process uh, like uh, maybe 60 or 70% can be automated or 30 40% can be manual right so depending on on the process right so that also we can do and the next is like high cost automation right and the last one is a zero touch automation so it means it can be automated 100% where we don't require the any human intervention okay and the high cost automation is uh, suppose if you want to automate some like a vdi application or if you want to automate any kind of <clears throat> uh, scan images where we require the ocr right and the cost of the ocr is is very high because they are charging per character right price per character so we have to uh, in, in in such cases we have to think from the cost point of view as well right so when you will be able to do it right if you have the knowledge of the rpa if you have the knowledge of the tool then only all the things are possible right unless and until it 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 will be the gray side okay for the business right so this is about determining rpa suitability any thought any question or if you have any discussion point please have a discussion as well okay it will it will help me also okay hey hi actually i had a one query yes siva yeah actually i just want to know because when we are calculating the uh, roa or we are whenever we are get uh, ready before giving the pdd we have to uh, what is it uh, we have to uh, know the stakeholders uh, how was about the uh, the cost of the licensing the steps no the licensing cost we have to get know with the stakeholders so at that time when we are not aware of, of uh, the uh, licensing cost at that time what we have to do no no see first of all okay so there are a variety of uh, what i can say uh, the cases are available here okay so it might happen the client have already licensed for it right the client have already choose the licenses for example a uh, ui power power automator automation anywhere and they say yes we find out this la licenses 
you people have just built automation right so in that case we don't have choice we have to go as per the client requirement right uh, and nowadays the industry is is more matured right so client uh, what they are doing they are doing all the background study before they they go to the any kind of vendor right uh, but it it might ha- might happen shiva like in few of the cases right uh, the client will ask right uh, <clears throat> tell me this is the process for example right and tell me about the uh, the cost including the licenses and all right so maybe mm-hmm. the next slide is 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 will will speak the same thing okay so yeah. it, here we have one process as is right it means it is happening manually okay mm-hmm. and so here you can see we have the outlook we have to open the email we have to send like bulk emails for example right mm-hmm. then we have check product code here we have the desktop application where we have to go right then we have to open the erp select the transactions file the data into the erp right so here we have the different steps are available right and it it, it is generating and validated the so right and then we have to reply so this is current manual process right and if the client is coming to you and saying like this is our manual process right we have to automate it right please suggest us first thing it can be automatable yes or no if yes provide the cost estimation right how many licenses are required which type of licenses are required attended unattended right so we have to go with this to be process okay so we will have the uh, business analyst solution architect team will work together and they will find out this process can be automated right if yes it can be unattended unattended means, means we don't have any human intervention okay it will be uh, 100% automated right or it can be manual uh, or or we can say hybrid basically where we have to go like 70 80% automation and 30 30 40% for the uh, manual right so accordingly they will find out all these things right so here you can see process step name so here the process step name is there then application use right the the green color so those are the application being shown here and the ast ast means average handling time, right average handling time so you can see this is the time right 2 plus 3 5 and 15 and then 17 and 21 so if you do it manually it will take 21 minutes right one process right so this is just high level idea okay i want to give to you people so it's a, it will take 21 minutes right but other hand if you do it with the help of automation so it will take uh, 3 plus 2 5 7 and 9 minutes okay so where is the 21 minutes and where is the 9 minutes right so what we will do here we will say we will save the uh, like uh, FT as well means full time employee which is working on here right and uh, as a human we can work for 8 to 10 hours but the bots will be available 24 by 7 365 days right so we have to calculate <coughs> sorry we have to calculate like how many FTEs we are going to save right at the same time uh, we, we have to find out how, how much volume it is going to take care right and then license will come into the picture or, or rather than we can say tool will come into the picture right so uh, if organization have any choice of the tool they will go with that tool but if they don't have then maybe the the vendor team will will guide you like they can go for the power automate or they can go for ui path right and after that once the tool selection is done then they will they will go for which type of licenses are required either it required a cloud license or it requires on premises attended automation if there then attended license unattended license right and after that the calculation will be done and the roi will be calculated okay so this is a whole process we have to follow while calculating the roi or costing of any of the automation okay got it shiva Okay, I'm not sure she was in mute or not. Okay, so any question uh, on this from anyone apart from Shiva? No. Okay. All right. We'll we'll move to the next slide. Okay. So here 
uh, as i said uh, uat life cycle okay and the ba role within the like that uat life cycle right so ba has to be pr- play role in all the life cycle of our rpa journey right so here as i said uh, the the ba will will decide the test strategy like uh, to uh, for example to create the test scripts right to uh, create the expected results right so all the things or the strategy will be defined by the ba then test design right so there will be uh, prepare the test data prepare the test scenario cases do the planning right and the test execution once it is done they will go for the execution they will uh, like report the failed test cases parts test cases accordingly they will they can raise that bug right and that bug will get resolved by the respective dev team and once everything is done it will go to the test closure right so ba have to play a vital role into the uat right so that whatever the product at the end automation we are going to give uh, to the client right it should be a uh, free from the bug as well as it should satisfy all the aspects of the client requirement that is the reason the rpa ba is doing or are performing the testing into the uat okay clear any question on this slide if you have okay. then we'll we'll go to the next slide okay so if you see into the market right so there is a very high demand of the technical business analyst right so demand of the technical business analyst in rpa why because business process automation so rpa technology being widely used across the all the business right to automate the repetitive task that is the reason here the ba should have the business analyst knowledge along with the rpa okay so they can use that knowledge during the process feasibility identification or gathering the requirement right and the next point is the optimization of workflow okay so technical business analyst also needed to analyze the current workflows current process id identify the pain points bottlenecks right and accordingly they will suggest the process efficiency to the client right suppose if there is any process that the ten steps are followed but it might happen right uh, it can be done within a seven step but still the that industry is following the uh, those ten steps because still they are following long okay long time for example since past five years or 10 years or two years that is the reason uh, that they are following all the same steps right so here the business analyst how to optimize the existing process as well if if required right and next one is a collaborative efforts so when the business analyst is gathering all the requirements creating the pd documents and all then they will hand it to the development team right and from there the solutioning part will be will started right so a solution architect will create the solution right where the bav will give his inputs right and also uh, if during the development if development team has any doubt any questions right they will reach to the business analyst business analyst will clarify all the doubts right so it's a collaborative effort and here the business analyst is playing a very vital role and next one is a data analytics right so everyone is aware about like rpa is generating a lot of data and that can be uh, used to analyze or improve the business processes technical business analyst with expertise in data analytics right it will it will help the business to analyze the rpa generated data and to get more details out of it they can they can use those data right for their business efficiencies for their business optimization right so overall the demand of this technical business analyst right is very huge into the market okay but if you see on the other hand there are very less skilled people are available in in in, in this uh, field actually okay then if you go and see the like rp business analyst salary trend in india right so here i don't want to give any exact figure to everyone right but as i said this role is very critical and nowadays there is very high demand into the market right so will will have a very good potential here to enter in, into 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 this field right so that we can bright you uh, our, our future in the right technology and also i want to highlight one important point here 
right rather than salary compensation right the business analyst having very high chances as compared to anyone to travel okay so if you if anyone is very passionate about like concert travels and all right this is a very right role for such kind of person right and then this is very very important slide uh, i i want to explain here how to become the rpa business analyst right so at the end people will have and anyone want to say something or any question okay no question then we'll we'll move on okay so the people will have the question like how to become the rpa business analyst right so first thing learn about the rpa right so learn what is the rpa what all the things can be automated what are the tools are available right uh, what are the capabilities of tool which tool are more efficient in terms of cost in, in in terms of flexibility right next is develop business analysis skill right so as i said uh, we we have a like a, in, in in the previous to previous slide here i have explained like what are the skills are required right so they they develop the business analyst skill as well for example communication skill uh, then they can improve their business and industry knowledge curiosity right so the business analyst should have all this uh, skills should be with them then gain technical knowledge okay gain technical and practical knowledge right so as I, as i said right if you know the practical if you know the development right i am not saying the business analyst has to go and develop any any kind of automation right but if you have that technical knowledge okay or the practical and at the same time practical knowledge right how rpa works right definitely it will give you give you the gain to to your profile and all the things right and the last one is certification right so uh, we have business analyst certifications are also available right so if you take those certification it will give age to to your current profile because you are the certified business analyst right so obviously uh, it will it will uh, give the age to to your profile any question on this okay uh, then then the last a uh, slide maybe uh, in in terms of discussion right so it is necessary the business analyst should have the rpa tool knowledge definitely there is a no question about it right so as as we have discussed in our previous slide right if you want to identify the opportunities in terms of automation we have to collaborate with the technical teams like dev team solution architect then we have to improve the workflows right for example we have, we have to optimize the current process right then right so then we should have the knowledge right otherwise if you don't have the knowledge then we will not able to enter into this role and the last but not least stay competitive in in job market right so as i said this is a very uh, like a bright uh, role which is uh, currently uh, available into the into the market right so if you want to stay competitive as compared to other people right so if you have the knowledge right Uh, definitely you will have a very uh, high chances like you people can get hired for the rpa business analyst right so that's all uh, any any question uh, from anyone before moving to the next slide okay so maybe you, you people will have more questions when i move to the next slide right so uh, here uh, like i want to say like why emergent tech correct because uh, if you see into the market there are a lot of other vendors are available for same right but i want to say here like we are a pioneer in rpa since 2016 right we have designed our syllabus uh, right uh, and and we have taken a lot of uh, opinions suggestions from the industry experts also when we are conducting our classes sessions right we will provide a uh, the industry based real time scenarios right in addition to that we are not just providing you uh, the teaching things right we will we will groom you in all the aspects like we will we'll guide you how to prepare your profiles what are the things we have to add how to show your past experience into 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 this rpa field right and also we have the job assistance right so we'll groom you in all the aspects okay it's not like the training point of view we'll groom in all the aspects and i want to say very happily like till now we have trained more than 10000 plus people okay in an, in online and offline okay 
any questions at least